Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video today. My name is David and I'm a life coach and I make videos to help people heal from emotional trauma, I hope. Today's video, the narcissist completes you. Hmm, what does that mean? Before I get started, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to my channel right down below. Hit the subscribe button. You can do anything to support me. You can push a couple buttons and vote on the video and tell me why down there. Ask me questions. You can share this video, stuff like this. It really, really helps me and I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. So how does the narcissist, how do you complete the narcissist? So if you watch my videos, you often hear me talk about our self, the self, our true, authentic personal self. And this is something that narcissists reject. I say that too a lot often. So there's three, let's say there's three parts of our self. Our agent self, which has to do with goals and plans and kind of control over voluntary actions. And then the other part is our interpersonal self. And this this comes with like, it, it's like social roles and, and caring about our reputation and, and which I think is distorted with the narcissist. You know, here we are talking about self-awareness and they aren't very self-aware. Major, major problem, if not maybe their biggest problem, really. Which is funny, right? The narcissist looks in their mirror and loves how they look, but they're not self-aware of who they are. So I think that interpersonal self is distorted. The third part, the self-knowledge. This is something I want to talk about more today. Awareness of our own mental state, of our feelings and our thoughts, things like this. This is the part that they reject completely. Okay, they've been doing this since childhood. And our, our parents help us form ourselves. They allow us to be who we are, not just completely make us or completely reject us. And that's the narcissist, okay? They have not been able to completely um, em emotionally evolve, mature. So how do you complete the narcissist? Well, if the narcissist rejects their self, right? That part of themselves, you accept it. You accept their neurosis. They are dependent on you for emotional validation, on people, meaning they can't do that themselves, okay? So, rejecting the self, things like your feelings, your failures, your mistakes, your shortcomings, makes you, they may strive for, for perfectionism and have low aspirations, turning down opportunities. These are self, forms of self-rejection. Forces identity with things like appearance, status, and style. The three things that narcissists care about, right? So this causes, if this is the things that you value and care about, external, outside, this causes comparison, makes you compare yourself to others. This is the part you can see right away with people, people which aren't truly who they are, right? And this comparison causes low self-esteem. And we often hear how low self-esteem narcissists have, how low it actually is. And this is what it causes it. And they allow these external factors and people to decide their worth and self-esteem. And it fluctuates, okay? This causes inadequacy, major. But you can increase this. You can increase their appearance, style, and status. Think about how you may have done that. Maybe just one of them, two of them, maybe all three. But the other part is that they need you to validate them emotionally, okay? Something they don't do themselves. Again, external. Narcissists objectify you. Very important to understand that you aren't in this co-op relationship with them working together to, no. It's all about them, narcissists. They objectify you and then ownership. They own you. They transfer what they reject about themselves that they can't accept onto you, right? And start picking on you. That's, that's right? They start telling you what's wrong. I don't like this part of you. But they own what they value about you. So they look at you as an object without all these emotions and feelings and, and who somebody is, right? They reject that part of themselves as well. Who they are is what others see. And they will tell you, right? They will tell you who they are you think they're amazing in the beginning. So they can't, re they reject them part, the part of themselves, such as emotions and feelings, who they are, things they can't accept about themselves, like that list I gave. But you will, you'll believe the image that they portray to you, right? We believe that's who they are and you're validating that. And then you're constantly validating them emotionally. So, it's kind of like a multiple personality. Multiple personality 
a, a, a dynamic of that is someone who can't handle the stresses of life or traumas, things like this, and they can't stand up for themselves and stuff like this. So maybe they'll split their personalities and they'll have one personality who is the strong person who sticks up for themselves, right? And then they'll have the other personality that takes all the bad pain and ugliness and, and I can put that, push that part of me away and give it to just a part of myself, not make it part of my life. And this is how they deal with life. And I, it's similar in narcissistic personality disorder in the way that they split themselves and reject a major part of who they are, right? And then they kind of adapt or adopt the parts of you they'll take on and you may represent them in a video I just made, I think, yesterday. And so they will increase their appearance, style, and status with the people that around them, right? And then the part of themselves that they reject, you will take and accept that, mothering them, kind of, parentifying. They'll parentify you and you take care of them emotionally, right? And then all the bad things is you. All the things I hate about myself and little things I don't like and I'll, I'll do that too because people do that naturally. A lot of the, the things that people can't accept about themselves, right? They'll, they'll push on to other people. Um, and I've said this a lot, you know, like, like people who have racist tendencies and can't accept that and go around telling everybody you're racist, 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 or someone who can't accept maybe homosexual thoughts or feelings they have, right? And they gay bash, they hate it, you're a homosexual, I hate homosexuals. You just hate that part of yourself that you can't accept, okay? So the part of themselves they can't accept, they transfer onto you and then they own and take the parts they value about you. So what do they value about you, right? Um, so... However, appearance, style, and status fades, doesn't it? Appearance fades, style fades, and status you can't maintain. It causes paranoia. Um, it fades. And then the external validation is just that, external. Never enough. Anything external is never enough. We have to learn to do it internally ourselves. Okay? So they move on to a new source. That's it. That's how this works, and that's why it works this way. And us... Victims of this, and not everyone, I had just had somebody the other day say, not everybody's been through these relationships. Of course not. Most people have not at all. The people who have, us, have had a childhood where we weren't able to fully be aware and express and know who we are and be totally self-aware because if we were, we wouldn't do this. We wouldn't allow someone like this into our life and believe their BS and, and validate them every day and, and not receive what we need in return, Okay. So I hope you found this video interesting. Please let me know. Please ask questions. Add your own experiences. Always, I always encourage you guys to tell us. If you don't mind sharing your experiences, let us know what you think. Uh, let us know uh, or, or add more. There's always so much more examples and stuff we can add to these videos that I make. Thank you guys. Love yourself first, okay? I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.